What's up, guys? Um, uh, we're here at the school today at HPAC Tech, and I'm here with the students, um, trying to find out if this compressor is working or not, right? So we're going to show you how to check the resistance on the compressor, how to mechanically test the compressor, and also going to show you a tool that you can use to start the compressor, right? So first of all, we're going to check the resistance on this compressor. This is a small compressor for a refrigerator. Uh, it's a hermetic compressor. Now, um, we can actually show you how to find out the common, the start and the run, okay? Usually, the pin on the top of the connections of the compressor is the common. So, and, and the one on the left is gonna be the start, the one on the right is gonna be the run, right? But I'm gonna just show you real quick uh, how to find this out. You gotta use your voltmeter, you gotta put it in ohms, and let's say if the, the pin on the top is a common, so you put one, a test lead into the, uh, the pin on the top and then the other one into the right pin and then we got 9.3 ohms right now uh, if you put the other test lead into the left pin which that's supposed to be the start we're gonna have 11.5 so that's what it looks like this is what it is right now if you check the two resistance at the bottom it should be a total of uh, 11 uh, plus 5, that would be 16 ohms, so, well, actually, it's 20.3, so it's good. So the two pins at the bottom will be your, your start and, and the run, and the pin on the top will be your common, right? So as simple as that, uh, you can find out which one is start, common, and run. Now, uh, we also want to make sure that, um, that the compressor is not grounded. And how would you find out it's not grounded? Well, um, you can actually touch one of the pins into one, one of the pins and the other test lead into the metal casing. This is part of the metal and make sure it says open line. Any of the pins, you, if you want to check all of them, you can actually go one pin into the ground, that's right. So it says open line and it says open line. And just for double checking, check uh, once again in one of the pins and check the copper. Make sure that you have any measurements and we got an open line so this is good. The compressor is not ground. Right, so we check the resistance, we check for grounding, and uh, it looks pretty good. This compressor should be working right. It should be uh, it should be working with no problems. Um, just keep in mind that the compressor could actually fail either electronically or mechanically. And the electronic the electronic part it's already done. We already checked it. It's fine. Okay. Now we're gonna have to check it mechanically. See if the compressor it's it's a uh, is, is mechanically working condition, right? Um, I got a special tool here. Not everyone has this tool because we normally use it here in the school. And this tool is gonna actually, is gonna help us to start the compressor. This is, uh, this is the hermetic check compressor. This is for single phase compressors, not three phase, just single phase, 120 or 220. Right, and we're going to connect this machine into the compressor to start the compressor and see how it works mechanically. All right, so here we go. The green is for the ground, and I think Erica is going to help me this time. What was the red for, Erica? Run. For the run, she kind of remembers all those numbers and letters. And the black one, yeah, uh, that was a common, very good, and the white one. To start with. Thank you very And by the way, all that information is gonna be on the machine so you can actually make the good connections, right? Here we go. And make sure the wires are not touching, make sure you connect the round. And what we're, go we were, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start the compressor right now, okay? And to check mechanically the compressor, well, it's supposed to start, but also it's supposed to vacuum into the gauge. I have a, a, a pressure gauge connected into the suction line of the compressor. So you can see right now it's a zero. Zero PSI means atmospheric pressure. So as soon as I start the compressor, you're gonna see this gauge going down into 30 inches of mercury, you know? Once I shut off the compressor, it's supposed to hold or maintain that negative pressure. If the pressure goes, goes up again, then that means that the compressor valves are leaking, if there's a failure inside the compressor, and then the compressor is pretty much garbage, right? Once it's a mechanical failure or a, a, um, a, a electronic failure in the compressor, uh, you have
had to replace it. All right. So here we go. Let's um, let's put it in uh, its off position. Let's start it up. I think it's ready to go. And oh, do we disconnect it? Hold on. It needs oh, to be plugged in. Okay. I I forgot to put this. There you go. Now you can go closer. You can see now the pressure, how it's going down into inches of mercury. We got about 20 inches of mercury and it keeps going down. The compressor now is running. You know, we can leave it a couple of, you know, maybe a minute just to see how low is going to go and it's going close to 30. We know that it's not going to make a perfect vacuum. A perfect vacuum would be like a 29.92 and there's no, it's not going to do a perfect vacuum. But as long as we can get as, as, as low as this possible, which that looks fine right now, and then we can just shut it off. And then, now that I shut off the compressor, now watch it. the pressure stays in the same spot. And that's not moving up. It's just staying the same, especially that's that, that right there spot. It's not moving up. So mechanically, this compressor is good. Electronically, it worked fine. So for some reason, someone brought this compressor and it was working fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is, this is not good because you know it's supposed to be a bad compressor, but actually it's a good compressor. It's a used compressor. Okay, so, um, well, that was it. Uh, hopefully you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time.